Hello everyone. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Welcome to another episode of The Block. I am one of your hosts, Dr. Tammy. I am the Director of Accreditation and Certification and of i BP, the International Council of Registered Black Chain Professionals. So let me just say this. <laughs> My intro, I always pause, and y'all probably know that, because I have a different intro for what I do when I normally go live, and I want to say that one. <laughs> So anyway, thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for being here. We are here on The Block where we talk about blockchain technology, the blockchain industry, more importantly, the profession, because as we know, it is hot (laughs) right now. And if you're not a part of it, if you haven't heard about it, if you're not in it yet, and you haven't started reading upon it, at least knowing the definition and uh, some things about blockchain technology, this is the place to join us. This is uh, the place where we encourage you to learn more and read more, explore more, and hang out with us so you can see how you can be more competitive as um, you know the, as things progress in this particular industry. So if you've never joined us before, please share this out. Please like, subscribe if you're on our YouTube. Turn on your notifications. We are here every Friday, most Fridays. We do take holidays sometimes off, but we're here every Friday and we actually invite subject matter experts onto the show to share with us what they do in this profession as it relates to blockchain technology. And we have had some amazing guests. We're going to talk about that a little bit today, but you know, that is one of the things that we like to do here is highlight the different professions and expose you to the opportunities that are out there and available to you. So if you've never joined an episode, we invite you to check out previous episodes. And of course, check out this one. We're going to give you updates. We're going to talk about what's the latest and greatest with i BP, the International Council of Registered Blockchain Professionals. So you know how you can join us. We will see you in a bit. Now a word from our sponsors. This blockchain continuing education program is brought to you by our major sponsors HTML Coin, Utility Coin Beyond the Hype, Altash University, your online school in the fourth industrial revolution, Libra Codes, take control on your NFT creation, and Credence Hub, verified credentials, anytime, anywhere. We also would like to thank our partners. So y'all, listen, I got to say this. Now we talked about sponsors. So, you know, we we invite sponsors <laughs> for this particular show. So if you are interested in sponsoring an episode or sponsoring or, you know, just, just being one of our ongoing sponsors, please reach out to myself or my co-host, which we'll talk about. But whatever channel you're on, whatever platform you're watching us on, you can always send us a message and or contact me at C-E-R-T, cert at icorebp.org. Cert at, C- uh, cert at icorebp.org. You can contact me and um, we can give you more information. And of course, if you want to partner with us, we'll talk, we can talk about that too. But let me invite my co-host, whom whom we affectionately call Doc Vince (laughs) to the platform. So today we can just have a conversation and just kind of update you on what's going on. Doc Vince, hey. How is it going? How is it going? For some reason, I can't hear you. Yeah, I'm just doing it again, like a Chinese <laughs> dub. He likes to mind. Like, I know he was off mute, so he likes to mess with me, y'all. Like, on every episode. So if you look at any of the previous episodes, let me just warn you here. Like, this is disclaimer time. Let's start with disclaimers. <laughs> he is normally on mute at least one time during the broadcast, where we're like, yep, his mouth's moving, but we don't hear him. So he now he does that when we've talked about it. And... <laughs> Now he does it on purpose, and I'm thinking, okay, now are you really on mute or we have a mic? Are you going to leave me at this alone? So, Doug Vince, please introduce yourself and to the audience. Yeah. Let them know who you are and what you do with iCore BP. Doug Vince, iCore BP, uh, I'm the director of the business development for iCore BP. And uh, 
uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> it's my short introduction. <laughs> and uh, maybe what I could say is I'll give a shout out to where I am at right now. Oh, S see that one? S yeah. See that flag on top of me at my background? Familiar, it's the Lone Star State. <laughs> That's where we are, you know. That's where we are, and you know the thing is, Doug Vince and I do these virtually, but we just both just happen to be in the Long Star State. We're in Texas. We're in Texas, <laughs> Texas, USA. So you, you're yes. just what two, three hours drive from my place. So we're just basically neighbors. I was there last year. I mean, yeah. You know. And so, and and the thing is, Doug Vince. Now I'm wondering. It's been um, we've probably known each other a little over a year now. Um, I think we met maybe March of 2021, and yes, we have not met in person yet, and we live this close together. What is that about? Hey, this <laughs> so we're going to have to do an episode where we're actually together in person, oh. like on the road, maybe at an event that's happening here in Texas. No, no. Th this summer, me and my family will be driving driving to Corpus Christi. Because we'll be going to uh, the Texas Aquarium. That's where oh, my yes. little boy, that he loves the Texas Aquarium, and visit that naval uh, air. Um, should I say the, 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 the USS the, the, Lexington? Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, that one. The big ship. So yeah. it'll be another Top Gun thing for him. So you know, who knows? We're gonna do a live broadcast there. <laughs> Maybe. So yeah. So y'all never know what you're gonna get. So <laughs> on this show. anyway, uh, blockchain, Icor BP for the past few. I should should I say quarter one, we've been having several guests yes. on uh, 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 different experts with regards to blockchain and uh, and at present or what a couple of days ago you went to consensus and you right. did mention to me that those were the topics that they were talking about. Yes, and and that's the thing. Like those are the topics when I was looking at the agenda you know how you can when you're on the app you can kind of select the topics that you're interested in and you mm -hmm. know as you're scrolling down and you're looking at all the topics that are available i realized that it was all the things that we've talked about even in the last like two months like mm -hmm. it's more recently like these are not topics that we did a long time ago these are topics that we've done most recently yep. um so esports and gaming was really big and we had a guest oh tell me his name we had a guest on that talked about esports and gaming. I was trying to bring up the YouTube channel so I could. So, so we were, um, so we were talking about esports and gaming, and that's been really big. And so now, um, you know, and, and apparently that's that's a huge thing. They had some NBA All Stars there mm -hmm. that were talking about. Now I don't know their names, like because they weren't the ones that I, you know, I'm not a sports fanatic. However, there are some players I like to follow. Like I'm more interested in the background stories and the individuals, but these are not any that I recognize. But they did have some of those. They even had artists, like professional artists there that mm -hmm. were talking about. Because um, so NFTs, of course, have been hot in the different industries. Um, you know, so they, you know, they had, uh, you know, artists there, um, whether they were in um, actual art or they were musicians or, you know, they had rappers, they had, you know, they had some of all those people there. And so that, that's that been big. So that was another topic. The other thing that we talked about recently was regulations and government mm -hmm. regulations. So that was on the list and looking at, and they talked about it on different levels, like local versus government, um, you know, federal government type um, regulations and, and just regulations within different organizations. So on different levels. So I know that, and that's the topic that we talked about. And we talked about the different countries, you know, that um, are launching their own coins or tokens. And so, you know, those, those things were really big. And those are some things that we've talked about more yes, recently. Yes, we did. We for, the for, the, for the, let me see, EA uh, Game Sports, we have Matt Hickson from Chicago, and he's been doing great stuff scholarships for kids he he did mention that esports is a collegiate level sport it's like what that was the first time i heard about it. it's like oh my goodness and then you mentioned about regulations Furman, but a chair. there you go <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm and Furman, if I messed it up, I it's for me. I, I might have spoke for for me. For me, you know, I've been I'm having. My, yep, <laughs> I myself is having a hard time pronouncing his name, and I don't want to murder it. But Furman was talking about CBDC, the yes. the central bank 
uh, digital currencies, he did mention about regulations we're in, we should have these regulations. It was mentioned. You know, and I and if y'all haven't seen that episode, go back. I think that was one mm-hmm. of the ones that really was like an aha, aha for me because we talked about even, um, and, 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 and it may have been a few of our guests that we talked about, and I think it came up several times with several mm-hmm. of our last few guests about, you know, when we're talking about regulation, initially it's, it's a, it has a negative connotation and everybody thinks it's a negative thing, but it's, it's, it's all about knowing what you're regulating and doing it according and, and knowing and being educated on that, um, as opposed to just doing something, putting regulations on something that you don't understand and you don't know. And so I think that's a really big thing with i BP and what we do is we try to educate like this platform is to educate. Not only say try because you've got to reabsorb what we're saying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to pick up what we putting down in order to um, to really understand it. And you know, each of those broadcasts, we even offer like references or resources, um, additional places where people can look and find out more. You know, one thing that we always say in this space: don't trust verify. And so some of those things, you know, you should do like anything that we talk about, do your own research. Like, um, and when I say that, and I hate that, I hate when we say that in this space and now I'm saying it is do your own research, but really follow up, like whatever you hear, you know, maybe do some research on your own and look and see if, you know, one, what you discover or uncover about how it relates to you and your um, connection to whatever the topic is. And I, I think that's something that I always encourage folks to do. So, but yeah, we've talked about a lot of those yes. on here. I and like then, it. What I'm going to do, uh, Dr. Tammy, is like every time we mention whichever topic that was, I'm going to provide the link okay. or the card up, up here, wherever, you know, okay. so that they <laughs> would, our, our audience would be able to go directly on those topics like esports, e- uh, DeFi, we talk mm-hmm. about a carbon footprint yes. tokenization. That's one thing that's really, I guess, it's one huge. of the topics that was a big issue in CBDCs and regulations. So, that, so that's what I'm going to do. The, just provide those links. So now the question right now is: At present, Good you time. have the market, which is red. <laughs> yes, is bloody red. <laughs> it's not just the uh, the stock market, mm-hmm. more so on the crypto market. And people think, oh, crypto is going down. It's crashed. It'll 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 be like this. It'll be gone. It's decimated. <laughs> but looking at the technology itself, maybe you maybe you could talk more. What do you think about the current situation right now? How do you look at how do you look at this? Look, y'all, look, look, look. Does it look like I'm panicking? We're not going to panic. No, we're not going to panic. And I think that's the thing, right, is to not panic and to know you haven't lost anything until you sell, right? Um, You know, because the market could come back up. And I expect it to. Like, I expect things to to improve. Um, And it may not be this week. It may not be in the next three months. But, you know, because I'm not, you know, I'm... I'm not there. I'm not a. I'm not a. You know, chart analysis uh, analyst yet. But, um, but I, I will say that you know, no, you don't panic. Um, but so as long as you, you know, you haven't sold, you haven't lost. Now, if you're selling, you lost, right? You may lose. And so I think that's the thing. I think it's all about thinking about the opportunities right now. Mm-hmm. And I think the opportunities, this presents an opportunity for one, you to get educated, for one, you you take a step back and you really evaluate. Because I think a lot of people are really looking at right now, today. And I think it's all about zooming out zooming out and looking at what the performance has been like over time. If you're really into charts, if you're really into following the market in that way, I'm not necessarily like I'm not like every second. (laughs) You know, I do, um, you know, on a as, as a global look or a general look, but I don't look at it like that. But I think if folks just zoom out, they can see and see what has happened. And just to see like, even even though it's down now, 
it's not down because it's been a lot lower, right? And so there's some things that I think just looking at the positive, but I think there's a lot of educational opportunities right now. There's a lot of things that are pointing you in the direction to learn more. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I think this is an opportunity with some of the free programs that are out there, the free opportunities that are available to you to even learn more. So if you're really in the charts, maybe this is an opportunity for you to learn more and really connect with other people and create a dialogue, a conversation around it. And there's other ways that you can manage, you know, this time, right? Mm -hmm. And I think, it, or just learn a new skill, right? You can even learn something new, learn something more connected to what you're doing. And this is, you know, we're we're the blockchain um, council. We're the mm -hmm. International Council of Registered Blockchain Professionals. And so we're all about looking at the industry and figuring out where do, where do you belong? Where mm -hmm. do we belong? And then, pursuing some educational opportunity around that so that way you can, you know, be competitive by getting a certification, by, um, you know, taking a course, whatever that is, attending an event. We talked about events today. You know, I think there's, this is a time for everybody to just kind of take a deep breath, first of all, <laughs> and then just look at it. Um, I like to use the word global. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, globally, like just really zoom back as a way to say, you know, zoom yeah. out and let's not panic. Yeah, you should pay attention. That's not so I'm not saying not to pay attention. What I'm saying is you don't you know, you don't stress yourself out about it. You look at what are some of the opportunities? What are some of the solutions? And I think, you know, we have some partners and I think some of the, our partners are even offering and have some things available that you can take advantage of right now. Mm -hmm. um, I've been really using this time to connect with others and attend different events. Some are virtual, some are face-to-face, -face, but really um, tap into those, those areas and those that I know are gaps for me. Right. right. Those right. areas that I know that I need to really pursue and make connections, like really make connections in the industry, because then that presents opportunities. Because I think our collaboration is really important. Mm -hmm. And that's a big part of what we do. That's why we have sponsors. That's why we have partners, you know, because partnerships are good and collaborations are really good. I'm going to pause there because, Doc Vince, you know, I, I, this is apparently a soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you talk about collaborations. Just, just uh, I guess this would be a good news we're in. Uh, we recently re recently have a collaboration partnership MOU or Memorandum of Understanding signing just yesterday with nice. a Philippine organization, Quad Change Solutions Foundation Incorporated. There's a lot of things that might be happening after that signing, and like you said, collaborations, getting those networks to have some things being accomplished with regards to the blockchain. Now, um, there's this, I don't know if this is a cliche, like I'm not in for the money, but <laughs> I'm in for the technology. Yeah. And that's, I, I'm going back to that because if we are in uh, for the money in terms of the crypto space, then most of the time we would be discouraged and, you know, it, it, it will stress it out. It stresses out. But if we look behind the scenes looking at the technology itself we we uh the blockchain per se the, the i guess the foundation of cryptocurrencies several organizations several institutions investors are really into blockchain you mm -hmm. have different private um mm -hmm. companies yes i'm sure when you attended consensus, like they're, they're talking about the blockchain. Yeah. So if the technology is really sound, I think we shouldn't panic. Yeah, that, exactly. that's an addition. I'm just to, I'm just here to add what you were saying because, yes. and we talk about professions in blockchain. That's what we are here, Icor BP. So mm -hmm. we got several things that we've been doing in Icor BP, more so in Altash University. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think a cohort just finished, um, you know, and so, you know, that's one of our partners, mm -hmm. collaboration and education um, mm -hmm. that, you know, Altas University does both of those. We collaborate with them and they offer the education and, you know, they just finished a cohort. And, you know, the thing is, it's not that long. It's like six weeks of your life, <laughs> you know, and it's, you know, and it's online. So you can you do have the flexibility of, you know, attending or taking in the information whenever is available when you have availability. And so I think that, yeah, like the, looking at the technology and going back to how 
all these things are connected. You know, whether we're talking about NFTs, we're talking about metaverse, we're talking about um, DeFi, we're talking about all that. Like it, it all goes back to the technology. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the reasons I really like um, what we do and how we highlight professions. Um, because at the core of all of that, no matter what you want to do in this space, no matter what industry, it's about the technology. And I think as long as we're talking about the technology and people are still talking about it more and more every day, mm -hmm. I think you can just breathe, right? Because we're talking about the technology um, like never before. Yes. Like just because yes. the market's red, we're not stop. We're not stopping talk. We're not. We haven't stopped talking about. Let me get my words together today, y'all. It's early. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we haven't stopped talking about the technology. Mm -hmm. We're talking about it even more. Now yeah. we're really talking about what was it created for? What is the purpose of it? And so, and I think those are some of the things when we're talking about DeFi, the key word there is decentralized. So now we're having conversations about that word more. And I think this is a time for you to kind of dive into it, like mm -hmm. just get into it, the technology, the terminology, the different things connected to the technology, how it relates to you and your profession. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So yeah, I agree. And they just had rather the World Economic Forum and they're talking about the fourth industrial revolution, wherein you have AI included, you have Internet of Things, and what else? Blockchain. <laughs> Blockchain. We're talking about it. <laughs> it's like if you think mark the crypto market is crashing, but the foundation is blockchain, it's like Come on, let's talk about blockchain. So that was one of the main topics. And recently, not recently, but you know, even like you, you can hear about them drumming about Web three, yeah, which is also blockchain. Yeah, yeah. Remember? Oh, yeah. I didn't mention that, but yeah, blockchain. <laughs> it's all about blockchain. blockchain. Now, and the the thing is, we should educate ourselves. And that's why we we here at Icor BP are so uh, like I myself we are advocates, yeah. Like you, Doctor Tammy, we are advocates of blockchain. Like being a profession, yeah. and you might be asking, okay, where do you see blockchain profession five, ten years from now? Well, if you're talking about Web three, you're talking about fourth industrial revolution. You answer, you answer it. <laughs> you answer your own question. You know, and you remember we did an episode where we talked about all those things. Yeah. We talked about blockchain. We talked about NFTs. We talked about Web3. We talked about the metaverse. Mm -hmm. We talked about all of those. We had a panel who actually went really in depth. I think it was one of the longest episodes we've had. So it if you was. Watch, get your popcorn, have a seat, and enjoy. Get your paper and pen, too. But and sit down and just plan to enjoy it. But I think we talked about all those and we talked about these connections with the technology and and this time, like even before this happened, the things that we were talking about in that episode was really relevant to now and people paying attention to what's happening now and how it's connected to some of the things we've been talking about. If you think about this space in general, right? Blockchain technology, if crypto is your thing, like I'm all about the technology, um, even though I understand the crypto and I know how it's all connected. Um, but if you think about, when I say this space, I mean, Web3, Metaverse, all of it that's connected to the blockchain. <laughs> if you think about it, you know, the things that people were projecting and when I say people, I mean the researchers, those who were into the data and looking at the projection of the industry, um, what they were claiming that was going to happen in 2030. I think, one, this pandemic and just what's happening as a result of the interest in the digital now, this digital future, people talk about this really now, I think that it has accelerated where we, where we are and will be. Mm -hmm. You know, they were saying, you know, like all these jobs would be connected to about 40 million jobs would be connected to the blockchain industry in 2030. Right. I think that's today, y'all. I think that's right now. And when I say right now, maybe not literally today, I'm being a little, you know, dramatic, but like 2025, really, like in the next two years, mm -hmm. I think those things that were projected to be um the demand with blockchain technology in the industry in 2030 has now accelerated and it's now more like 2025. At yeah. least that's my take on it. And so, you know, this being connected with iCore BP exposes you to the opportunities. We mentioned Altas University, like y'all, that's a free at this point. 
if you do it now while it's hot, mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. It, we're, it, it, we have scholarships, and so therefore it's it's free for um, for you to attend. And or there are ways where you can get the tuition waived. And so this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of programs like that to learn like that, because not only do they talk about the technology that we've been talking about, but they also talk about some things you can do in this space, like the professions and the different opportunities right. attached to the blockchain industry. And I think that that is the key for right now. Like, if you don't get anything else from this episode is to think about what do I know about blockchain technology? How can I learn more? And how does this fit into what I'm currently doing or what I really want to do, what you desire to do? Even if you're not doing what you want to do, but you know there's some things, you have some goals, like mm-hmm. even think about how it's connected to that. Like that's where my passion lies. If you haven't realized it today when I go on my rants, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Connected hey, to your purpose. Dr. Tammy, two, te- uh, two, two points that I got. You did mention about 2030, right? The metaverse, according to a glo- global consulting firm, which is uh, I, I, it's a McKinsey, they made a report that by 2030, the metaverse could be worth $5 trillion by 20, 2030. Yes. Imagine. Ooh, now, I can't. You know, but the thing is, Dr. Vance, like that's what the projections are for many things. Like, remember when we were talking about how... Um, blockchain technology is a $3.1 trillion industry. NFTs right now um, is expected. Now, as things get hot, it may the expectancy may change. But right now, it's expected to be $8 million mm-hmm. in the same time frame, right? So it's even been, it's, 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 it's projected to be bigger. And then you have what you're talking about, the metaverse. Like, come on, y'all. <laughs> it, it, it's high time anymore. for me to, to buy them uh, crypto. Crypto punks because it's in a discount. <laughs> and, and and before we go, one last thing: you talk about education, and what's the best way to to have this advocacy, wherein we start at a younger age. Yeah. And Icor BP oh, yeah. did have a project wherein yes. we have junior Icor BP kids from all over the globe, and more specifically, I guess. In uh, in Africa, uh, so maybe you could talk more about that. Then we'll wrap it up. Awesome. So this past March, we piloted, and we started working on this probably the end of last year. But we piloted our first um, cohort in the the first part of the the first program um, group that we had um, this past March. And it was, we had, we, you know, we limited the amount of students. So we probably had about 30 students um, that were juniors and seniors in high school um, or, you know, depending on where you are that were in secondary, mm-hmm. but we, we had students who had not yet graduated who were in this program already learning. And of course it was, it was basic. It was just an introduction. So it was just getting them to start um, exposure. Mm-hmm. It was really about exposure and exploring um, what blockchain technology can do for them now and in the future. And that was a really successful program. The students are, they've got certified. So they got a certificate that they completed that level one a certification of our blockchain internship program. And they now they have opportunities to um, serve in other ways. You know, they could, you know, eventually we'll have a level two. And so we'll move into that. We're, you know, we're, we're doing some other things. Plus we have opportunities for internships with i BP that now they have access to. So if once they graduate or when time permits, if they want to learn a little more. And, you know, that's another thing that I didn't mention. Um, like, I, I want to talk about one more thing after we talk about this. So I want to move into something else too that I'm going to encourage people to think about when we're trying to get experience in this field. So we've been talking about the education, but I do want to touch on the experience before we log off of here. But um, but the thing is, um, 
that program was really a success. I think the students really got something out of it. We've heard some great reviews from it. And so we'll be sharing more about it. And, um, you know, of course, we're doing some revisions to the program. We're, you know, making sure that, you know, doing a few tweaks because we did learn something in that process. That's what a pilot is for. Mm -hmm. And so we will launch another one. So for those of you that are following us, stay tuned because when we do um, launch another cohort or uh, open up, for another cohort, we'd love for you to share it with those who qualify and who can who can um, participate in it and start getting younger people in that. You know, some of our um, partners are doing even younger, but mm. you know, we're we're doing that, and that's something that we have committed to really preparing people for this space. You know, giving them an entry point um, for them to. Um, either learn more or gain experience. And so I really, I really like that. Um, and so when I'm talking about experience, the other big thing, Doug Vince, that was really um, popular um, or that's now gaining a little more traction is hackathons. I don't know if you've realized that. Hackathons are really good. And the thing is, I never considered about being in a blockchain hackathon ever <laughs> because I always thought it was for tech people. And um, those who were, you know, developers or coders or things like that. But now the interesting thing about hackathons, people are starting to catch on that us non-tech people are valuable to your project. Mm -hmm. We're very valuable to your mm -hmm. project. And so, um, you know, I'm working with one now that's in Africa. And I am the business mentor because business strategy is my is my thing in my business. And so um, I'm working with some. But now I noticed that some of the hackathons, like there's a Web three thon that's um, starting soon. I think you need to apply like really soon mm -hmm. <laughs> in order to get in on that. I think to at the end of the month. But um, there's some hackathons, but they're also publicizing and promoting that they're looking for non tech people. And so you can enter this industry if you're not a non-tech person and you can, can get experience and you can get experience. Like, and that's the thing about the hackathons. You can get experience with a team. Like mm -hmm. you're working with a team intimately and you're getting experience. So that was really big at the conference. And that's something that, you know, people are always saying, well, if I get the education, how do I actually get a job? How do I actually get it? These are ways that you can enter and get experience. And then that may lead to a job. Of course, there's other places that you can go to look for jobs. And we can talk about some of those. Maybe on another episode, we'll talk about how to yeah. actually, about the future work and actually sure. how to get jobs and job hunting and, and how to, you know, resumes and all that. Um, since we're talking about professions, we'll have a whole episode for that. But I just want to throw that out there. Like, check out some of these hackathons because now they're, they're, they're getting people in and they're even onboarding. They're even educating. They have the educational opportunities. They're having all these things. So, and and then of course, when you're done, you can bring that, those credentials mm -hmm. to i VP, <laughs> whether right. it's experience or formal training and get certified. So, you know, those are some things, some other entry points into this industry that I thought I'd mention. Sorry, Dr. Vance. No, 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 you're good. Because on an educational standpoint, I guess we are at the earliest stage mm -hmm of the technology itself but the curriculum the courses we are really on the early stage and looking at it as you are an, uh, an academic and educator i think this is this would be the perfect timing to get in mm -hmm. given the fact that it'll be way way bigger in what five ten years from now we're in there are <laughs> one year <laughs> The way Even things are going year. at this pace, we... <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you, you said fast paced. You could see different programs right now being offered by big schools, yes. MIT blockchain mm, courses. Yes. Why not start now? Anyway, uh, we we, I guess. <laughs> we we covered a lot. We, we yeah, covered this is one of those episodes, Doc Vince, where we had not too much to talk about, mm -hmm. but apparently we had a lot to talk about. <laughs> Uh, That's kind of how we do around here. This would be an information overload. We can we can go what more than an hour, even a day, talking about blockchain. But yes. anyway, Doctor Tammy, thank you so much, you know, for being here discussing these things, and maybe you could sign us out. Yes. So listen, y'all. Y'all see what's at the bottom here. You see how you can subscribe. There's iCore VP down at the bottom. So make sure that you join us um, for another episode of the Block next Friday. Um, and so every Friday, join us here. And, and if 
for some reason we take a holiday because those happen occasionally, make sure that you go back and watch some previous episodes. We talked about some of those today and we had some amazing guests that actually um, discussed some of that. So make sure that you go and uh, check it out. This blockchain continuing education program is brought to you by our major sponsors. HTML coin, utility coin beyond the hype. Autash University, your online school in the fourth industrial revolution. Libra Codes, take control on your NFT creation. And Credence Hub, verified credentials, anytime, anywhere. We also would like to thank our partners. So y'all, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for being here. We have some amazing things that are coming. Be sure that you follow us on social media. IcorVP.org is the website. Go there, check us out. We have um, some amazing things and some opportunities coming that we'd like to share with you. And we'll be back. Doug Vince, any final words? Well, forget about FUD because there will be F-O-M-O after this one. <laughs> yes. So, you know, don't miss out on what's going on here um, because we will be offering some things. We'll be talking about some upcoming events and things that are happening within I-Corp I Corp BP and our partners. So y'all stay tuned and we hope that you will join us again for another episode. And if there's a topic that you want us to cover, you want us to talk about, please let us know. If you are a subject matter expert and you have an expertise in an area that we that would our audience would benefit from and we would love to have you um, contact us and let us know. Like I said, you can always contact us on our social media handles or you can contact me at cert at icorbp.org and let us know um, that you're interested and we will follow up with you. We hope that you will join us again. Take care and don't forget and join us on the blog.